Microphone check, one, two, three, skip the bullshit. You already know the Gemini Scorpio podcast is here. Mr. J boss. Hill, I'm here. Sade is here. Hiller Bay is here. Episode 29. Your age. Look oh, at you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You had to tell it, right? I'm 25. What are you talking about? I'm 29. I'm 22. Right, and I'm 25. Okay, say less. God Yo, it's a damn. whole set in here. Like, it looked like the fucking, what's Family Matters set? It do. Like, you know how they be having, like, living room, and you see behind the scene, there'd be a whole audience on that side, and it'd be the living room? No. Or, like, on Martin, when he had his own show? No. Nah. You always saying no. Yes, it do. It doesn't. Anyway. Not Family Matters. It like what? Well, right, I like the Gemini Scope your podcast. Oh, say less. Okay, bro. <clears throat> Hey, okay. shout out to Luke Belair for the sponsorship. We appreciate you. Um, Even though it's the pandemic, they still been holding us down. They still been giving us bottles. And we ain't drinking all of them because uh, we don't want to... We don't want to risk the chance of not getting any more bottles, so we're <laughs> so going to just put them up for props. Yeah. Okay. The whole gang is here. Jewel is in the building. Monique is in the building. Alex is in the building. Yo, Catch-22. Catch-22 is, in the, is in the building. Okay, it's a lot of entrepreneurs, black entrepreneurs in this house right now. It's trainers in here, lash techs, makeup artists, mm -hmm, videographers, mm -hmm. producers. Shout out to Boston. Like, it's a lot going I on. I always say it wrong. Bye. Cyrano. Oh, I said it right. Oh, yeah. I never. Because I don't, I don't be wanting to say it's his, be his like, real name. Because you know we know we know like each other personally. I don't be wanting like you know because you fuck up the business that way. You know what I'm saying? Because niggas say my 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 real name and like oh like that get your me. shit together. I don't you know, know who the fuck you talking about. And don't matter how many letters you got to name, make they tell them to say that shit correct. Facts. Period. You know what I'm saying? But uh yeah, so you know how we start. How is everybody week? Um. You know, I'm not going to tell y'all what I'm drinking, but I've been drinking dark all week. That's how my week has been. I'm tired. This is the ba it's bamboo, Gemini. right? This <laughs> it's bamboo made by Luke Belair, of Say course. Less. You know what I'm saying? Cheers. Cheers. Um, you know, I'm tired of Gemini season, okay? I'm sick of it. I'm over it. I want it to end right fucking now. Gang, 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 okay? gang. Okay, I got one more Gemini to get through. So I'm tired, Gang, 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 gang. I've been gang. drinking all week now, like. But you also been working out all week, too, Yeah, though. because if I ain't working out, that double gym will come back. Cause I'm drinking and I'm tired. Yeah, I can hear I, the drink all in your that that, that double didn't. I can hear it all in your voice. You ain't even you drunk already. So my week was very good, you guys. Um, what did we do? What did we do? This week has just been busy. I don't even fucking know. I'm just tired. That's my Neo had a, a a club at his apartment yesterday. It was lit. It was literally he had the bottle a club girls. in there. Shout out to my guy Jamar. He was just like the the I ain't gonna lie. Somebody sent me the invi invite, and my first my first thought was like, wait. Is that mm -hmm. a fucking venue? Is it free? Cause nigga said ladies free all night. I'm hey. like, wait, man, what the fuck is this? Like, when it was crazy. Jay sent me the address, and I thought I was really pulling up to the club. I seen they snaps before I got there. I was like, oh, it's society in there. It's lit. It was an apartment. So what that I will say like is, club. it was dope. What I will say is, shout out to the Scorpios, cause his girlfriend is a Scorpio too, and she did that for him. You know what I'm saying? You made my shit right. You know what I'm saying? She got him out the way. So yeah, they try to say they know how to pick right, or we know how to pick right. Period. So I, shout th out to I think I'm pretty sure we chose y'all, but I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. The man niggas chooses all, the woman. Niggas always think they chose us because Jay know I bagged him, so I don't know why he trying to act like I'm a grown ass man. Everybody bagging me. <laughs> a grown ass man. Anyway, so how was y'all week? Uh, Joel, Alex, what y'all do? How was the week? My week was cool. You know, I'm trying to build this business and whatnot. So I just been really hustling for real. Like I've been trying to get a spot. I'm opened up a spa. Mm. I feel like I told y'all that last week. Yes. So. Spot. Getting the location for that, building up the production company, being great, you know, just trying to get this body all the way snatched. Yeah, mm -hmm. come so, on, you know, snatch body. Just together. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got your sun sundress season. Jewel got, <laughs> <on. laughs> you know? got her sundress on. Jewel you got know? her sundress, no drawers on it. Mm. <laughs> That's too much information. What the fuck is going on? Let me say it. It's sundress season. So, sundress uh, season. So that's what you do when you wear a sundress and you don't wear no drawers? Hell no. Nah. The fuck you be free. It's a sundress. I feel like nobody needed to know that. Only I need to know. I that. said Julie had no drawers, but on. I ain't say I ain't I mean, no if I'm a off. nigga, then I'm gonna assume that you don't wear drawers with sundresses because you know that she don't got no drawers on. I actually grabbed her butt. That's how I knew she had no drawers what? on. Oh, you want some freaky no. shit? Wait a minute. It's <laughs> the energy we on today. Damn, the Gemini Scorpio podcast X X. Exposed. Well, God, we Jim and I scope your podcast gonna be on OnlyFans next week. Make sure y'all subscribe. Like, the fuck please, is please, going please, on? Cause I need some coins, man. Nah. All right, man. Alex, what happened? How, how was your week, man? It was good. Read some books. You know, work. It was cool. What book you reading now? Uh, right now, I just got the Intelligent Investor. Mm. I like 17 Come on, shout out to black guys who read. That sounds no, dope. I'm reading. Um, nah, I'm feeling to, that. And to add to that, like, find out what works for you. Like, we talked yeah. about nah, facts, like, if you facts. if you're not like a physical book reader, like. 
Listen find the them. audio books, Kindle, Listen. whatever, man. And find it's out. crazy about that because you got to be careful because like when you when you express your interest in things, you got so many people that'll tell you, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't yeah. do that. And that can kind of like, it can sway you to not do it because right. you're like, it can dis, not encourage you, but it can discourage you from doing it, right? So I remember the first time I was about to do the audio book, everybody was like, man, I ain't doing that. You might as well just, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you, you, and I'm like, I, I, at first I stopped. And then I met you, you was like, I do the audio. And I'm like, man, let me give it a try. And it, right. it, and it was literally one of the best things I've ever done. Like, I'm like eight books in before. Yeah, eight be books. Before the audio book, I never read a book in my life, like ever. Like, even, in, I, I think I did it in, in like elementary school or something like that when we had to, but I never did it now, you know what I'm saying? Like, you we read. ate in, you know what I'm right. saying? Like, we ate yeah. in, yeah. here with it, and yeah. it feels good. Yes, sir. Jay keep trying to put me on this audio wave. It's not for me. Mm -hmm. You know, I read, because I'm slow, right. so. You know, I gotta read my words <laughs> like that. Nah, <laughs> so. I'm actually um I'm actually on uh, relationship goals by Michael Todd, and uh, we actually had a Zoom mm -hmm. like we we're in a little book club, and we talked about it. the the Zoom meeting was like three hours, man. We was just breaking up the, the chapter two and three yeah. down, and it was just yeah, it gets dope, deep. Though. Yeah, I it like gets that. Deep. Yeah, I'm shout out to the book clubs because it's a lot of book clubs going on. I like it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I seen um, they're doing. All, I follow this page who's doing all black books, like mm. um, that all black people should read. So you know, I'm gonna definitely plug that in. But it's definitely dope. So that's where I got my inspiration to order my books from. Is you know, I gotta get the page down. I'd say it again, but I gotta get it down because I forgot the name of the page. But yes, all black books. So shout out to black. And your makeup look good, right? buddy. You feel what I'm saying? Melrose on the face. Mm -hmm. You already know GG. Shout out to her. Came through with a quick beat because last week I was looking ashy. Oh, so shout out so. to shout out to Malachi too, man. My my line brother is definitely helping us with the audio. He's been doing it all week, helping us with Malachi the audio. Malachi is the bartender and the, the chef. The chef, audio yeah, guy, like, you know do everything. Like working shit. it out. You know shout out to him. Hey, but um, and Brandon Mahana, Cats Twenty Two, and Tim. Shout out to them. Uh, yeah. Al Trainer, shit. Aaron right. Strums, I don't, I, don't, I don't know what the fuck he want to call himself. He always changing his name and shit. Like one day, Aaron like Aaron, tell Javier, him, tell him to say your name right. Or like I don't know what the fuck. Like I like I don't know what he want to Avron on. I don't know. Avron. I don't, I don't know what the fuck. Let's get into Aaron the with a V as an A. That shit's stupid. Let's get into the Gemini <laughs> Scorpio podcast. Um. Uh. So. Aaron. <laughs> Aaron. <-A> -A <laughs> All right, let's get into it, man. Um, we talking. Boom. Might get a little deep in here today, okay? Yeah, it looks deep. Okay. Um, well, we did skip our recap of last week's video and fan engagement where Jay said he had a boyfriend. So hey, don't yo, you had to bring that back up. But it says recap of for fan but we engagement. But we don't never, we don't have to do that. Like you talking about me saying boyfriend, like when you had to say that. No, you said my boyfriend. You didn't say boyfriend. You said my boyfriend. We didn't have to say that. Oh my bad. Yo, okay. can we we get um. What? This might be unorthodox, but speaking of like boyfriend, we can skip down for a second. Okay, come on. You're what's this? My... What y'all talking about? Uh, B Simone. You're my boyfriend. What y'all talking about? She's stealing people's content. <laughs> yeah, cause she plagiarized so somebody like whole manifestation style. You know, I'm really tired of these people who really don't be manifesting. Talking about I manifested today, or I manifest. Bitch, they didn't manifest. We've been she called it. Preached on she this. copied it. She copied it. That's not. Cool, we've been we've been calling it. Everybody's so woke now. Go back to fucking sleep because y'all ain't woke. Everybody, everybody want to be safe. Everybody want to have sage. Let me get this bad energy. You the bad energy. Like right. what the fuck are you talking about? Everybody mental energy. health, mental. Shut the fuck up. Like so you don't even know nothing about it. So apparently, B Simone plagiarized somebody's like her whole book Damn. is plagiarized of her whole. She, yo, she made millions off of this book. So she like copied and pasted place rise or like yes copy didn't paste like quote she ain't even like put like, in her words of her analogy about behind what she read tomorrow has been assigned three weeks nigga ago. I, ain't gonna, I, I ain't do nothing we don't I'm even do that in something. college though we know you know better like you don't if you're gonna if you're gonna place rise you gonna get caught place rising by like not quoting. The idea, like, cause you can say an idea yeah. and it's still yeah, plagiarism. Yeah, 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 like you don't yeah, cite the yeah. source. Right. That's still plagiarism. Yeah, but, but it's just niggas so don't copy and paste no more. Right? You're a grown ass person, woman, man. Like we grown. Yeah, that, that's bad. That's real bad. I ain't but, even fucking with that. What made it even worse for me? Cause I'm a fan of B Simone, but it, I think because she was like documenting the process and talking about how she about to, oh, I'm gonna transfer one dollar over on my birthday and I'm gonna be this millionaire. Yeah, and it's like whole time this? you copy. Whole time. Like, yeah. and she made a million dollars. Yeah, yeah. by her thirtieth right. birthday. So that was what can goal. I copy to make a million dollars? 
Like, cause it yeah. clearly works. Shit, like, no, can I check. copy like Steve Harvey? Um, like, what, what, what bookie oh, brand? Like, like a man. Like 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 that's my like that's my style. Right. Whole, that's my wave thing. right there. That's my wave. I think right, like a million, man. Millionaire, us, please. Fuck it. ASAP, we gonna we gonna okay. make a million dollars from that shit. We gonna speak that into existence. My and bad. They gonna sue the shit out of us. So right, you know, she probably about to lose that whole million. But if but if we like file for bank, isn't it ways around that? Donald Trump. Shit. I mean, you file for bankruptcy. Oh, you teaching me something new. I don't know. Cause I ain't know that either. Look. Criminal minds. Yeah, niggas did that. These Gemini's is criminal minds. Okay. Obama Appreciation Day is today, by the way. Shout, Shout out, out to, to my black man. Yes, sir. Sorry, Alex. Keep us on track. All right, so let's, thanks, Alex. Let's get into the podcast. All right, all right, all right. So today, seventy-one Shade's talking points. Time frame fifteen minutes. I okay. hate when you do that shit. I love it. So, um, dating your opposite because Jay is like my complete fucking opposite. So. What? I'm just letting you speak. Oh, but don't look. At, come on, look at the camera. Why you gotta look at me like that? Because you, you, when somebody speaks, you look. You look All right, at them. Fine. No, you giving me shady looks. So dating your opposite. Um, you know, we actually got this topic from the one and only B Simone as well. Um, because obviously, you know, she's been getting canceled for a few things. Now it's plagiarism. Now she was canceled for you know telling people not to date nine to fivers. So all that to say, dating your opposite. Um, you know, obviously me and Jay started out like completely different because he was like this well-rounded entrepreneur, you know, I work for the government. So like, no, like, you know what I'm saying? He wanted to be out till four in the morning. I want to be asleep by nine. Like, you know what I mean? So, you know, I think that a lot of people think that, I think there was a saying like date your opposite because like opposites attract, like that's the saying, whatever. But I don't really think that opposites attract. Uh, we were just watching, um, Pastor Keith Battle um, from Zion Church on a live, shout out to Davy J, um, with a live with him. And he was saying that a lot of times opposite attracts because you're actually looking for what you're missing, if that makes sense. Like, so it's like you're not really dating them because they're your opposite and it's exciting. You're dating them because you see something that you don't have, you know? So I think that a lot of people went into that, like, okay, opposites attract, like date your opposite. But I also see now a new topic saying that you should actually. As you get older, you start to date people that's more like you. <clears throat> what do you think about that? So, um, sorry, Keith Battle, but I don't agree with you. nothing he was saying mm -hmm. in that punk moment. I love him as a pastor. I think he's a great pastor. The interview was dope. However, that was one of the moments where I didn't agree mm -hmm. because <clears throat> he was saying that you shouldn't date your opposite. Like, that's what they say. We, opposite attracts, but it really doesn't. He was like, you should date somebody that, that actually, like, share the same morals as you, share the same values as you. Mm -hmm. And I understand where he's coming from. Right. However, I feel like when you date your opposite, it can help you grow because y'all yeah. don't see everything the same right. and, and you're not going to agree on every single thing, right. right? So like, I feel like he did make a great point because you definitely want to share good times and you don't want to, you want to have more laughs than arguments, of course. But if it, it comes a time, to me, this is just my opinion, it comes in a time like when you're mature enough, you can be with somebody and they can show you your flaws and that can help you grow. Right. Um, yeah, go ahead. Because I agree with what you're saying. I think also to tie into that, it also is important to, whether you're opposite personality-wise, to still make sure you're equally yoked. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. you still bring mm -hmm. what you need to bring to the table mm -hmm. on both ends. Like, mm -hmm. keeping that scale mm -hmm. level. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. And also, like, I think that just from a perception-based thing, I think if you date people with the same perception as you, you only still think in that perception lining. Like, or that, that uh, what do you would call it, that circumference of that perception. Like, it doesn't broaden another side for you because you know i used to um i never hung with like yes men friends but a lot of me and my friends used to view things the same way so a lot of things we went about things so i would like meet other people and i used to be like what what we don't do that like you know what i'm saying we don't hang with those type of bitches like you know what i'm saying but realistically they're not doing something wrong it's just that i never got to open up my you know my range to actually be open to that side because um you know, in my perception of my circle of friends, that's all I see. So when you're with somebody opposite, it actually shows you another perception based thing. Like I can see like, okay, like he looks at it this way. I look at it this way. You know what I'm saying? His side don't have to be wrong. My side don't have to be wrong. You know what I'm saying? It does get frustrating sometimes though, because it's not an easy process. Like you can't just be like, uh, like, all right, fine. You think like that. I'll think like that too. It's really like, hmm. You know All right, so I mean? let's get into it because I feel like yeah, this is positive. And yeah, you always want to be open minded. Yeah, but let's talk about let's let's talk about how it really happens in a relationship, right? Okay. This is how it happens, right? 
Well, you about be, to point a finger. I'm like not. It. No, I'm not pointing no finger. I always said, let's break it down from our relationship. All right, come on, come on. And I feel like we both can agree to this. It'll right. be things that we do that we might not agree with, and like that should have fuck up the entire mood. And then like, hell yeah. By a fucking another move can fuck up the entire day. Like now we ain't talking just for the yeah. simplest shit. Be like, we could be having a conversation. And be like, nah, I don't agree with that. And we trying to get each other to understand, but we don't understand. And now we just leaving the conversation. Like, yeah, fuck I don't off. fuck with this little motherfucker. I right. hate this bitch. So, like, that's how I be, be like. What do y'all do though to get back on track? With these. So other? you know what's funny? We just had a po- like a positive. We did great. You know, like we did a good job. Yeah. Come yeah. On, yeah. Man. Nah. We did. Nah. We I ain't gonna lie. Job. I was yeah, fired. Yeah, yeah. This was so, lit. I ain't gonna lie. Was what lit. happened was is lit. we watching Keith battles uh, live, right? And he's a pastor, so we listening. Jay asked, like, yeah, because you need to hear this right here, and I'm like, so you know, it's crazy because one time I took Jay to church, right? And we go through the whole church. It was a great service. He didn't leave the church with nothing for himself. He goes, yeah, I felt like you needed to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like, motherfucker. I mean, sorry, God. who I can tell you about yourself more than your partner? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because let me, first of all, God knows my heart. Because I'm over here smoking hookah, drinking, talking about. What they got to do with God? He know what's up with us. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But you know what I'm saying? Like for the people. Come on. Uh, Shout out to God that know our heart. What are you right. talking about? You know, I just had to, because you, you know, know people watching, they be like, look at these, they talking about God, and they over here smoking so, and drinking. Judge but themselves. God loves me for who I am, <laughs> period. So, uh, but yeah, so we were listening to the live, the live, and Jay said it, and it fucked, we were having a great day. It really fucked up the whole mood. Like, I was irritated, sitting on the couch, like. With a stank face. With a stank face. He was like, what's wrong with you? I was like, nothing. He was like, what's wrong with you? I was like, you know, because I didn't want to go into it because I knew we were going to have our differences at that time. And I think that's another thing, like, not wanting to have the conversation. Like, I think a common thing is not wanting to have the conversation to fuck up the mood because you already kind of irritated. But, you know, if you go into it, it's going to really fuck up the mood. Right. So we sitting there. So I finally tell him, I'm like, yo, like every time you watch in church or like something like you hear something, you be like, yeah, because you I'm like, you don't never take it for yourself and like look into you. You always looking at me like, what about you? Like, whatever. So how we actually overcame that is we really just spoke about it. Like, you know, Jay was like, you know, I apologize for that. I could see where that comes off. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, almost like I'm not attacking you, but like I'm coming at you like some way. You so, know what I'm saying? so what happens is like, I feel like just from my perspective, I think <clears throat> a lot of times when I look at myself, even I think Shade said this before. Um, a lot of times when I look at myself, I might not speak it out. Right. So you don't know that I, I saw it for right. myself. So when I do speak on you was like, well, niggas say that about you as well. Right. But it's but like it's I already said it, yeah, because you don't you know. You said it to yourself, yeah, but you yeah. only spoke out about me out in public. Plus, you only acknowledge me all out loud, like whatever. Well, say yourself out loud. <laughs> Talk about your flaws. No, you're right, but that you was a great. Time. I actually was, I was very. No, satisfied we finished with well. That. We finished well with that. Yeah. You know, uh, it was no question. Only thing I meant, we should have just had sex right after that, but I mean. No, I was tired. Yeah. Mm-mm. That's what we should His talk about. Yo, why girls don't initiate sex for real? That's what we should talk about. What? That's not fucking girls, true. My, girls don't initiate That's sex. That's not fucking true. What? So you trying? So you? So you? You just gonna tell the people I don't be initiating sex with you? Go ahead and tell them. So you might as well. That's what you saying because you ain't never said that to me. You said now you telling the face. people. Wait, now what? That, now you telling people I, I ain't never tell you that. You tell me. Okay. Well, my sorry. <laughs> you fine. Go ahead. Wait Jay down, just got Brandy Yaya. Yeah, can you smack it inside? I'm so sorry. So no, one time he said, but like you saying it like I don't initiate sex like ever. Is that true? No, I can't say that. All right, so now be clear. No, I'm just saying, but for for the most part... Why is it an imbalance for females versus men? Because I think that, you know, men... I'm sorry, I think also it's just the way we brought up. I think men always been like chasers, if that makes sense. As soon as y'all turn 35, watch how the the rose (laughs) flip. Oh, I'm horny. Like, <laughs> back the fuck up. No, I don't want it now. My dick, I'm my dick don't work. I'm, it, it's not gonna work. That's I'm 40 the years old. I need Viagra. Fuck you, mean. Then you are gonna be pissed. Once you turn 35, 40 years old, you are gonna be horny as a bitch. I'm like, oh, uh, uh-uh. uh. <laughs> are you like? Why are you manifesting that? I'm not. Like, like, that's why I went down to the moment. Let's, let's like, get to the, let's get to the question. Why doesn't? Why is it an imbalance? Of women like I said, I really just think that, like, you know, from the beginning of the ages, like, even growing up, like, men used to, like, they usually chase me, <laughs> like, the fact, <laughs> like, but, like, when you're in a relationship, like, I think, like, you know, you're attracted to your partner, like, it's like, a, like, I, you know, I want you, you want me, but I think as you get into a longevity of a relationship, like, it's just a lot of factors that go into that, like, sometimes we're tired, sometimes... Like, you know, like, first of all, I do a fucking lot. Like, I'm not about to be coming, come here, come here, come here, come here. Like, I be doing too much. So, I don't be tired. I don't do a lot. Jay, no, hold on. Jay full of shit, though, because Jay be, don't want to have sex sometimes, too. So, that's not true. When you get on my fucking nerves, no, I don't want to have sex. My no. fucking mood is thrown but off. But that's when I want to have sex. <laughs> and I got a comment. 
So the question first is, and y'all answer this, like, do you think we aren't, I guess, as aggressive or whatever in the bedroom or trying to have sex because we're taught to not be promiscuous and to be a lady and to be more reserved? Ooh, come what on, What type Joe? of bullshit you tell? I ain't no, come on. Come no, on, we ain't that's that's a question. No, it's, it's not. A question. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not a good question. I'm just tell you straight up because I initiate sex with Jay, but like, it, no, because Jay's full of shit. Look at his face. Look at his face. Can we no, be real? He's full of shit. We're, yo, let's talk he's about. He's full of shit because what it is is, is this week I haven't, because yo, he's had a long fucking birthday. I mean, fucking so we should nigga. be humping the most oh, on my no, birthday week. I even, no, we've been already doing that. Like your whole birthday week. I'm tired this week. Okay. <laughs> anyway, listen. But listen, one more fucking comment. Dumb. And the comment. Can we get to that question real quick? Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. What you think? Only reason I say it's bullshit because in today's society, right? We talk about double standards. We talk about whole his life. We talk about girls being able to do whatever niggas do, right? But you can't. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, make up your mind. You don't want to talk about double standards, or you do. So it's like when we talk about how women is taught not to be promiscuous, you shouldn't show your body. All this is a, it's, it's fight back. It's like we should be able to do whatever the fuck we want. Well, guess what? You should be able to try to fuck me whenever the fuck I want to. Like, come on. Like, make up your mind. What side of the fence do y'all want to be on? You must be feeling away. I don't. But it's like it's real. I'm speaking for my sure, man. I think. We I think. We you got, just you had got some sex to do in the hallway that. yesterday. Whoa, you know, why ain't nobody need to know house. that shit? So what are you talking about? She been dropping bombs the whole show. <laughs> He's playing like you're not about to get up here and I'm play I'm not saying me. you don't, dude. I'm saying you know what I'm woman saying? as I a I had whole. this nigga drop his drawers in the hallway. You know what I'm saying? That's real double Keep standard. Keep it spicy, he like, You know what I'm saying? How he, they be like, slide your pennies to the side. I was like, drop your drawers in the hallway. Like, stop playing with me. Niggas don't need to know. Babe, we know. No, but you're not about to You're not every here. woman. You're Scorpio. We get it. But you're not about to get on here and be like, why women don't exist? She exists. Like, eh, who well, didn't exist? You got a side bitch I don't know about or something? I don't have oh, the shit. time or the money for a side right, bitch. They, so I'm just saying. What was the comment, Joe? So the comment is that y'all just, y'all be fucking up the mood. Y'all be Ooh, fucking the mood up. Who That's put what the that, comment said. Who said. put that in the comments? Like, y'all don't fuck up the, all right, whatever. Nah, niggas do be fucking up the mood, too. Like, Jay do shit like, he want to have sex in a little bit, but he do this nasty ass, loud ass fart. Nigga, get the fuck, bro. <laughs> that shit, no, bro. No, bro. No, now I don't want to have sex because you smell, you smell like somebody died and crawled up in you. No. Let's talk about how you go in the bathroom. Wait, wait. And you try to... Wait. Time out. And she trying to turn the water on when she's taking this shit. Like, wait, I can't wait. hit him. I can't hit a shit turn it's hitting the fucking toilet. Like, she trying to turn the water on. It ain't even a bathtub. It's a fucking low ass sink. She turned a low ass sink water on. That shit don't have no pressure. I still hear bloops in the motherfucking toilet. That shit... I go in that bitch. That shit stinks. Jay, shut the fuck up. Up, I come in that bitch, she's like, let's talk about that. Like, y'all don't fuck with the moon. Let's talk try, about how. But I wasn't trying to have sex with you at that time because I know I just shit. Like, let's talk just, about. Nah, fuck it up. Fuck it up. Fuck it up. Fuck it up. the mood. Fuck it up. The mood. Let's talk about. Let's, <laughs> y'all talk about fucking up the mood. Let's talk about when you get drunk and you got to stop to take a piss on the side of the road and you want to have sex. I don't want to have sex. The fuck? You took a piss by the dumpster, man. Wash that fucking shit out, man. I don't want to have sex. No. <laughs> now you talk about fucking up the mood. Let's talk Dang. about it. Fuck off. Right. Yes, first, first, of first of all. First of all. Can wow. I get another drink, please? Wow. Talking about, Yo, man. just so. No, okay, so first of all, like, to clarify what we said, look, now, I ain't fucking up my bladder. If we on a rock, I gotta fucking bleed. I'm not holding my bladder, okay? And we be having napkins. Who <laughs> fuck out of I have, here. A, I have another comment. What, bro? Um, Women fuck up the mood. By asking questions at the wrong time. Facts. Like, hey, can I ask you something like right before? <laughs> right. <laughs> like, no, don't ask me nothing. What are we, uh, or some, or some I just shit. find it funny. Right. I just, I, I just think it's funny how now or it'd be like, tell me why you really like me for real. You really like me for real. It's like, damn, bitch, the fuck, try to fuck. Right. I'm <laughs> glad you said it. Well, let's 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 keep it going. Yo, um, damn, we're about to have a whole just shift. <laughs> Damn, I'm looking That's at the nose, it's about to be a whole shift and like, oh shit. All right, so, Ooh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> I just feel like, Jay right. just told my business how I You shit. told my business how I be shitting, I be stinking, I'm farting and shit, I don't want niggas to know. Yo, All right. Jay farts. Oh my God, bro, that shit will fuck my mood up for the whole week. Oh, you gonna fuck you for the whole week, dirty butt. <laughs> I feel like when you detox, bro. I feel like it's just detox, bro. Just but I feel like your shit is supposed to stink. No, <laughs> that's the point of shitting. Like shit stinks. You gotta like, get it about your system. They man. say the pastor once preached on you. You dating somebody that will never take a shit. That's why he's so angry. 
At least I see. <laughs> that's why I shit all the time. I'm, I'm a happy individual. I shit. I get that shit up out of me. You, know I mean? like, you be holding that shit in. You constipate. You steady nah, angry and nah, shit. Like, you stay full let of that shit, shit flow. You stay full of shit. Too, no, my man. shit flow. Like, no. that's, let's move on. All right, so all right, boom. in a serious manner. All right? right, so getting back. So like you know, another thing of dating your opposites. You know, is date. What if you're dating somebody with different religious views as you? Like, so I'm a Muslim. You Catholic. Okay, and I I actually want to go into that after that. Um, but I think it could work. I feel like we talked about this before. I think it could work. I think um, if you open minded and you um, it'd probably be harder, of course, All right. because it just it, it builds more barriers to the relationship. But I think it could work for sure. You just got to be open and you got to be um. Right. So well. So I think um somebody on Love and Hip Hop I forgot had this situation. Right, so the guy was a Muslim, mm -hmm. and you know they don't celebrate like Christmas. Yeah, and you know the girl that was her, you know her mom had died, but so she always kept her mom's legacy because her mom was like big on Christmas, mm -hmm. like very big. So she always did like the beautiful big trees, the family pictures, like you know taking the baby to go see Santa, like all this. And her now husband with their new child is like, nah, we not doing that. How does that? I feel like that's not being open. Right. But like, but in Mus like in Muslim culture, can you so even be open with that? Because I don't even think that you can do that. Like, I don't, I don't so wanna... to say to be open, it's like certain religion you can't be that open. And so, I got a question too. Hold your thought, Jay. Don't forget what you're about yeah, to say. Yeah. But also, what about when it's time for the wedding? Like, right, are we at the synagogue? Right. Are we at the Baptist right. church? Like, what we right. 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 So I think you should be open, but it kind of goes into like the, so far as the wedding. I just really think you got to be open with like both parties. If, if 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 you're a Christian, I'm a Muslim. Like we should be able to have uh, one wedding with two different type of vibes going on. Just like if you're a vegan, right? You got to have vegan food and non-vegan food so everybody can be happy. I just happy. don't think it's that simple though, because like for example, then your family has to come into play. So yeah, you, we I might be open-minded, but my mom and dad is not fucking open-minded. And that goes, so they're not gonna come to my wedding now. So that goes. So now into, I have to have less of a what? Like, does that make sense to? even risk that like like what i wouldn't even go through that because it's like now i can't even have my parents at my wedding because they don't want to you know my my parents are muslim or whatever and they're not into those they're not doing that they raised generations not to do that and now here we are doing this thing and they're like i'm not coming so that's actually i i don't know um the only thing i can say is we have to be both open and um maybe have a wedding that's that doesn't subscribe to no religion maybe and so everybody i don't know yeah i mean i think it's uh, a matter of respect and having that mutual respect for each other. Mm -hmm. I mean, with parents and stuff, you're always gonna have parents that agree or disagree. It could right. be even different cultures. Like if yes. you're dating somebody that's, I mean, I know this is a question in particular is about religion, yeah. but like if you're dating somebody that was African, something that is key in like African cultures is the traditional wedding. You know, right. they have their traditional garments, but what you often see if they have two weddings, you'll have a traditional right. wedding and then you'll have a white wedding. You right. Know? So, I mean, it, I feel like it's boils down yeah. to the respect and having that respect. Right. And you know, it's crazy. I, I hold your thought one second, Joe. So um, when Amaya was really small, um, we were going to do a christening. Um, her grandparents are Haitian, are Haitian and they grew up Catholic. And um, they had already kind of like pre-planned the christening, all these things. I had no idea. They called me like, hey, we're christening her. So I called my mom and I'm like, mom, like they want to christen the baby. I, I was going to plan that, but I was also very young at the time. And my mom was like, you know, just go ahead. Like they already did it, whatever. I did not know it was going to be at a Catholic church that's, and they spoke all French, right? So my mom got my great grandmother, my, uh, my grandmother drives down from New York, my great aunt, like they come here and they're like blessing my baby in French. So I'm young and a wild nigga at this time. So I stopped the whole fucking shit. Now we're not doing that. Cause I don't even know what the fuck y'all are saying or praying over my child right now. Long story short, called the mom, called the other grandmother a bitch. Like it was bad. Uh, in church? Yeah, I did. That was young me. That was young me. No, no, no. Y'all see what I'm crazy. dealing with? No, 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 <laughs> no, it was, no, it wasn't that. Called the grandmother just, a bitch in church? Nah, it was. What you? She what? Yo, you first speaking bitch. You no, ain't gonna be it didn't speaking go to, patois and crazy shit over my. Nah, it, it didn't go down like that. What happened was when I stopped, I was like, "Yo, can we do this in English?" I have my mom. All my family's Jamaican, but they speak English. How did it get to you calling her a bitch? Because she was like, "No," she was trying to tell them to carry on. I said, "No, I need this in English because my grandparent and you know my great grandmother, my great aunt, my grandmother, they need to be able." So to how did it get to you calling so her? So she was bitch. like, "No, we're gonna keep going." She was arguing with me. I was like, "Bitch, you got me fucked up in the church." I know it was bad. I was nineteen, y'all. Don't do that. So. So I, I was 19. Long story short, Christian cr Christianity thing over the, the the baptism over. So, um, but long story short, that was their culture. Like that's how they would prefer. So now Namaya curse for life. 
<laughs> Yo, no, I went and did my own baptism at my church, and my baby's very blessed. So, it, so it kind of goes into. The, I wanted to ask this question, right? You was right. reaching for the hookah. Yeah, because I know you're always reaching for the hook. You're always Thank reaching, you. but anyway. So like, I'm curious. My my Neo actually asked me this last night. What religion do you subscribe to? And not even just that. Not you don't have to answer that, but why? Mm-hmm. What religion and why subscribe to? So I think a lot of us we were taught our religion from younger. So I grew up Christian. Mm-hmm. Like that's how. Like it wasn't a choice. Like that's I grew up in the Christian church. Like you know I grew up having a church. So. Um, when I got older, um, I still pick my church, but I've been to like Methodist church, you know, Baptist, but you know, Christian churches ultimately, um, I stuck with that. Cause like, that's what I've been taught my whole life. Like I've been preaching through this Bible. I've been, you know what I mean? That was my Sunday school through these churches. That's what I knew. Um, so I never felt the need to switch over because, you know, that's my God. Like, you know, like I didn't feel the need to start over. Now, what I will say is I did take a peek in like the Quran and I did read some of the Quran before, you know what I'm saying? Um, I do heavily like their value, you know what I mean? So it gave me perspective, but I never switched over. So I was, I was going to say the same exact thing, right? So like, I feel like I'm, I'm a Christian because my mom's told me and what I learned through through the experience was like just experiencing things through God. So it was times where like we were struggling for real. Mm-hmm. My mom would be like, "Yo, don't worry about it. God got us." Right. And sure enough, like the next day, God, God got like us. I'm like yeah. I'm not even talking well, like no real. bullshit. It was it was times yeah. where like our lights were off. I swear in my life, and like and I'm like, what the fuck? And my mom would be like, "Don't worry about it. God's gonna make a way." And the next mm-hmm. day, our fucking lights come on. Mm-hmm. Granted, it could be her working hard. I don't yeah, know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's but what I that, saw. Still a blessing, you know what I'm saying? I remember, for example, um, I swear to God, if you look into it, it's, it's a family called the Dawson family, right? I just got into a fight with them and make the story short. I got into a fight with them the next day. I was coming from school and their parents, their moms was like, um, their moms was like, yo, uh, that's why your mom's is a crackhead and she on drugs, or whatever. And I didn't understand. I told my mom's and she was like, my mom's is older too. So, you know, younger parents, they probably mm-hmm. go scrap with you and shit. We had that conversation. But my mom's like, don't worry about it. What goes around comes around. God always got us. Swear to God in my life, I, I I feel like my mom had something to do with this, but I know she didn't. <laughs> she woke me up at three in the morning, and I don't wish this on nobody. I swear, like, we lived, like, across the street from their house. Their house was on fire. And she was like, not to wish this on nobody else. I mean, not to wish this on nobody, but I told you, God always got you. And I'm like, damn. Like, they, like their house, like, five of them, five of their whole family died. And not saying I wish that on them, but these are things that I learned. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, like, we didn't, we don't have to retaliate because God always got your back. Yeah. And it was like, damn. So that's why I'm a Christian. But at the same time, what I was going to also introduce in the conversation is me, as you just expressed, and a lot of my other friends, really, we always speak so highly of the um, the Muslim culture. Yeah. And yeah. everybody yeah. that, that I, well, not yeah. everybody, but for yeah. the most part, all of my friends say they really respect it. And I wonder why, if we, if we like it that much, right? right? Because we hear so much bullshit about Christians, honestly, if you yeah. want to keep it 100. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Not so much about Muslims, some, maybe some, but not yeah. so much. I wonder why everybody don't just go ahead and it's, subscribe to it. It's the work, it's the work. Because, fact. That might, because, that's because a fact. Muslims see, they really like, live that the, shit, no, yeah. no, they really live it, and it's a lot of sacrifice and fasting and that you have to do. And I think that people are not willing to do the work mm. because we wasn't taught it. A lot of Muslim children were taught that growing, uh, like growing up so they know how to fast and okay. know how to take I these breaks and know how to do these things because their parents have been installing it with them since young. But it's hard to take somebody who's never been doing this and then be like, okay, here, if you're gonna like be a Muslim and you're gonna need to do this, you're gonna have to fast for, you know, uh, how, how long is Ramadan? Like, oh, I don't know, like 30 days or 15? Ramadan 15? is like, I don't know. It's like a month, right? It, a month? And that's yeah, hard to tell somebody, like we can't even fucking put down fried chicken for two weeks. So you know what I'm right. saying? Like, Wait, right? yeah. Speak for yourself. No, me, first of all, speak for you. I can I put down fried chicken. for generically because okay. I, you and know. So, and and you lying because you had fried chicken in your cob salad. No, I didn't have, uh, it was, that was grilled that, chicken. That was this week, but a, a week ago you had fried chicken in your cob salad. And whatever, whatever. Exactly. What I was just going to say to add to that though, I also. You always, exactly. To add right. to that, I also think it's because it's like we got to unlearn everything. Like what we talked about when I touched on like the <clears> African <throat> diaspora class at Morgan. Like when you start learning like, damn, we've been taught this for years and it's not even the truth. And I feel like if our parents was lied to and what they would, what they, yep. the lies they believe was the truth and you yep. keep passing that down generation to generation to yep. generation, it's embedded in us. It's yeah. Just, mm. It's just what it is. And I feel like even deeper than that with Muslims or Buddhist, whoever, yeah. anybody else is like, we don't know about that. Yeah. So yeah. it's harder to, like you said, to yeah. just adjust or jump. It's not right. just about fasting. It's right. not even just about 
picking up the Quran it's and reading the ways. it. It's the ways. It's the ways yeah, of life. It's like a it's whole the ways lifestyle. Of life. It's a lifestyle. Yeah. And that sure. goes that goes directly into my point. On oh, my question, what you done? Uh, no, go ahead, go ahead. That goes directly into my question. We speaking about God, right? And right. we we all say we subscribe to Christianity, but as a and this can be directly for us, right? As a as a couple, how often or how much do we see ourselves putting God as the center of our relationship? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um. Good question. First and not yeah, last. Not, not first. Like, yeah, because I think, like, you know, and I think Jay brought this up when he picked this uh, topic, how, you know, we do our own spiritual work separately all the time. Like, you know, if you believe in God, you do, you know, like, Jay, no, like, I pray, he prays. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I meditate. You know what I'm saying? Like, we do our thing, but we always do it separately. So to say that, like, we always pick a time together. I can't say that's like always a necessity. Like now, you know, of course we, now we watch church together online. You know what I'm saying? We've been to church together, you know, but like, like specifically like taking out that designated time to just worship God. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like on the regular to make it the foundation or even to pray to ask for guidance in the relationship. Like we ask for guidance separately Separately, because you know of course we want to be a better person if you're a better person it'll be a better in the relationship but to do it together with intention you know what i'm saying i think that's something that one i don't think we neither one of us got taught that so that's something that you know we kind of have to learn together as we go yeah yeah good point too just to add real quick it's kind of a comment but like because you guys are starting your own union you know and Working towards marriage, I'm right. sure. It's like the things that we aren't taught. Yeah. We got to not only learn, but it's yeah. just like, how do we know what to even try yeah. to learn? Yeah. Right. What how to try to, to do, right. you know? Right. I right. think as individuals, right? Like you come into a relationship, y'all y'all see y'all on the same page, y'all believe in God, and y'all continue to do y'all in the individual tasks as Christians, right? I feel like just outside of us, I think a lot of people get lost in, the, in their individuality, yeah. individuality yeah. right? Yeah. So a lot of times we try to take matters in our own hands. Yeah. Just outside of relationships, it's anything. Mm-hmm. When something go wrong, uh, you try to handle it yourself instead yeah. of going straight to God, yeah. right? Something right. that you don't like happen, somebody's arguing with you, you try yeah. to fix it instead of like, okay, look, I'm yeah. going to put God first. I'm going to put God yeah. in the center of this. I'm going to pray first. Yeah. Let me, he said, peace yeah. be still, right? A lot of times, we, we really say that and we could preach these mm-hmm. these scriptures but we don't live them right? right peace be still the first thing we do is move you get what I'm right, saying right, something right. happened we react and right, that's not right, that's right. not being stillness right, that's not right. being peaceful so I think a lot of times that happens in like when it comes to a relationship we just it bleeds over into our yeah, relationship because that's yeah. what we do as individuals so right. when, in a rela- when in a relationship we get to arguing yeah. and instead of saying you know Let, what let's pray about it hold up let's pray yeah we try yeah. And, and, and we get sometimes we get fulfillment from these um these situations then we think we did something good like right. for example man perfect example man Shade just said yo we had a great conversation right and we felt good because we were able to have that communication right. and we were able to fight through it right. but at that time we should have let's pray, pray about, about it. it you get yeah. what i'm saying like yeah. and i feel like yeah. we get enjoyment from our outcomes sometimes mm-hmm. that we forget about the source right, right? and I, um and I, I do think uh you know I think more couples have to shed light on that because, you know, a lot of people idolize these like relationships and, you know, oh, those are goals and goals. But like a lot of their thinking of what they're looking at as goals is really not what's goals. Like, Mm. you know, like the real goal is being spiritually aligned with yourself and with your God. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I think that it's hard for people to just do that because you don't see it often. You know what I'm saying? And if you didn't come from a family, you know, that's like that, like, you know, or have you know, two parent home or, you know, that are heavy in church and do that, you know, even with their own kids, like, you know what I'm saying? Like if you're, you know, I don't know, I know to pray, but I didn't have my mom always be like, let's sit down and pray. Right. Facts. You know so, what I'm saying? So like as a family dynamic, you're not going to really carry that on. I was about to like, go you know into that. Right. So like, like I seen my mom's like pray all the time and, it, and it's crazy. Cause like my story might be different, but so like my mom's didn't really hide anything from me. She had respect for me as a child, but like she did drugs ever since I remember. Right. And I remember like catching her or not until like, cause of course she's not about to do drugs in front of me, but sometimes I would catch her and like, she would even tell me like, yo, she would pray at the table while they lighting a the spoon. You get what I'm saying? Like, I mean, you could judge all you want, but she would tell me like, like she was, she would use those moments while they're doing whatever they're doing to pray with her peers. Right. And she taught me that like, you always want to put God first in yourself and then your moms. And then once you get married, you put your wife and then your moms. But I never, I never saw her in those moments when we're arguing, pause, let's, let's pray. pray. I seen right. like after the argument, right. pray. You know right. what I'm saying? But right. it wasn't like in those moments of right. heated arguments, hold up, pray. Before you get it beaten, I'm going to pray. Because right. right. I mean, right. it's some Christians right. out there that, that whoop your ass while they praying, like, right. Lord, right. Father, right. Right. <laughs> in the name of Jesus. Like, but yeah, so I haven't seen that, right? right. right. And I, I think that that has a lot to do yeah. with it as well. But I think 
ultimately we got to get out of this selfishness yeah. and really put God first because we say we love yeah. God first and then ourselves but we're right. really loving ourselves first what's comfortable right. for us right. and then we go into God mm -hmm. second so, so what's the goal we could do for this week to improve that I ain't say all that Wow, you is a whole hypocrite. <laughs> I, I, I'm not a hypocrite. A I'm speaking hypocrite. on it. I ain't. Sorry, well, yeah, sorry, sorry. Like, <laughs> sorry, no, no, we can. Um, no, I'm with that. We can. Yeah. Uh, you know, you know, one thing I do. I'm very uh pleased and fortunate just for the peers that we are around because we pray a lot over here. Nah, you like, know what I'm saying? We, regular, no, we pray though, on the like, regular. Yeah, like even shout out to Alex. Alex pray before the podcast. Um, but we do it. We actually as a friendship circle and a family on this side, we do pray a lot together. So that does show that you know. God is a source in our life that Thanks. we need, that we know that we need. And to I want to give yeah. God before we get into the goals for yeah. this week, right? I want to give God a shout out and the glory because, like, even have even Him placing people in Around. our lives yep. to even like I was like when, when Alex stood up and he started to say his testimony. I'm like, he was like, yeah, you know, Jay usually said this, and for right. for, for somebody else yeah. to, to know feel that, yeah. not even that, like for somebody yeah. else to feel as happy for something that like. Yeah. I don't want to say I built because we built it, yeah. but for him to feel that way, right? Because you yeah. don't get that all the time. Yeah. It's always like, Bro. well, he started it. I really don't care as right, much. Right, right. For him to feel that same happiness yeah. is like, That's amazing. damn. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's really game. ours. Like, this is, like, it's, re it's not mine. It's really ours for him to be like, yo, yeah. we got this team. Right. We've been at it for day one. Because, right. you know, a lot of times people don't look at it like that. A lot of times be like, you know, yeah. I'm working with him. Whatever yeah, he does, yeah, nah, he the fact this. that him yeah, like he's, he's like this, this is yeah. mine too. Yeah. Like shout out to God for that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah as a so, goal, so like a goal for this week, like if we can encounter any issues, let's pray about it first. Facts, and um, I think and we'll that's tell you how it goes. Yeah, if he lies and he doesn't do it. He tried to cuss me out. I'm gonna get on the podcast and say Jay's a liar. He came and cussed me out and he didn't want to pray. You see how you just let the devil work and you are that fast. <laughs> you just let the devil take control that fast. God's working on me. Yeah, damn. Hey, yo, can we go to that question? Oh, um, I think that. that can somebody, can I get another? Can I get a cup? Somebody, can I get a cup, please? Can I get a cup, please? Yeah. You want so, to read it? Uh, Malachi, Malachi, over there. I mean, I typed it in there. So oh, Malachi, can you refill me up? I know I'm exhausted, Malachi. I'm so sorry. So, um, I'm a great I'm, concoction. I'm reading this. <laughs> I'm reading this book called uh, "Relationship Goals" by Michael Todd. And he um he actually writes <clears throat> that singleness is a time to invest, imagine, and inspire. We're talking about the um just the importance of the I word. So right. a lot of times when we're single, we think that's a bad thing. But he's like, it's actually a good time. Mm -hmm. And he says that singleness is a time to invest, imagine, and inspire. Invest in what you want to see. Invest in what you want to see grow in your life. Imagine what you could be tomorrow if you started today and inspire others by using everything you have now to make a difference. What specific things could we be doing in this season okay. of our life to invest, invest imagine, and imagine, inspire? inspire? What specific things could we be doing in this season of life to invest, imagine, inspire? Even um, that we're not single, we're in a relationship, yeah, but what can yeah. we do? Um, it's weird because, like, you know, I'm like, I think I made this comment before, like, you know, um, I'm forever a dreamer, and like, that's just something I do. So, like, I, I want, I would like to say that right now, I feel like I'm investing. Like, you know mm. what I'm saying? And um, I feel like, like just in myself, like a couple ways I say I'm investing in myself right now. Um, one thing is <clears throat> I invested in a trainer. I wanted a better, healthy lifestyle. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's something I never did before. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then sticking to commitment, that's a big deal for me. Shout out to you, first of all. Yeah. Now I want to give you that. Yeah, yeah, Shout out yeah. to you, baby. Like, that's great. something that I, like, I never did before. Like, you know, I never saw the importance of it. I was always a little slim thick. So I was like, I don't need to do that. But I really am investing in this healthier lifestyle, just this more upbeat lifestyle. You look good. You feel good. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. And I do think that's something that has been inspiring people. But, like, even the way, like, you know, I meditate and I do these things. These are things that people reach back onto me like, yo, like, you know what I'm saying? Or, yo, like, you working out? Or, yo. <laughs> or, like, I got people, like, tag me, like, oh, I'm checking in. I'm working out today, too. Like, or like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, just investing myself in those ways, just spiritually and mentally and, and in my body, just to be a better person all around. So I think that's an investment um, overall. Um, imagine, like I said, like to imagine like right now, also like I'm working on my credit heavy. I'm trying to get a house. That's, a, that's what I'm imagining. That's what I'm dreaming. That's what I'm manifesting. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I just, sh you know, shout out the credit goddess because she working on my shit right now. She about to get it right. If y'all see me pop up with this big, big house this year, just understand that that was a manifestation. Um, and if not this year, it'll be next year. But either way, it's coming down. Um, and I think all these things, just having a higher quality life inspires everybody around you. And, and I, I think, think that's, and we, go, yeah. we definitely, I definitely want to hear Alex and Jewel because mm -hmm. they're single. Mm -hmm. um, 
It wasn't like that. <laughs> that sounded bad. Right, that was it shit. sounded worse than I was trying to. That was shit because you're single. <laughs> but not because we're talking about singing. Because Alex ain't shit. We're talking about singing this, but I. So because it's I like read not. that. Like not, Alex. Because I'm reading a book, I think like my what I what I see it, why I envision is different, right? So they say in your singleness, this is the perfect time to invest, imagine, and inspire, right? But a lot of times we rush into relationships mm-hmm. that we don't have time to invest, imagine, mm-hmm. and inspire because we're like, okay. Yeah, we know we want to focus on us, but I like this person, mm-hmm. so let me go into it, right? Right. What I think that <clears throat> I'm doing, um, and I tried to do, and I, we actually been doing good, is I'm investing in time in myself while I'm being yeah. in a relationship, so mm-hmm. I still can work on myself, right? Yep. I'm investing in time, like, of course I invest in my craft, but outside yeah. of my craft, I'm investing in time, like, yeah, we work out together, but it was a point where I was working out on my own, right. and that's okay. I feel like a lot of times in relationships, you try to do everything, everything together, together mm-hmm. that you, that you kind of, like, mess up not mess up the relationship yeah. but it's like you, you're yeah, forcing you forget, it you're forgetting you know your alone time yeah like, so now you get frustrated about little yeah. things right it's like uh, why you always do this first yeah. of all it don't have to always be that because we don't have to always be together yeah, like right, it's like right, yeah right, we're in a relationship right, right. we could we could fall right. back let's invest in ourselves right so I think I'm definitely mm-hmm. having like more me time yeah. right I think um, mm-hmm. we both are doing that and that's yeah. dope uh, when it comes to like imagining it's like I'm imagining what my relationship be if I try something else right like if, if I if I take myself out of my my own way, let me imagine how it could be if I just not thought yeah. what I always thought in my life, yeah. right? Like, yeah. and I feel like these are the things that that I'm doing as an individual mm-hmm. to try to like make myself a better person because yeah. I mm-hmm. wasn't, I didn't have a lot of time in my single stage mm-hmm. to invest, imagine, and right. inspire, right? right? Like, of course I'm inspiring because mm-hmm. I'm doing these things. We're inspiring because mm-hmm. we're doing these things. But when it comes to like yeah alone time mm-hmm. I definitely think I'm doing that and, and I can get better yeah. but I wanted to I kind of wanted to move it to y'all because like this is something mm-hmm. that we really need yeah, to like speak jewel, on single single Alex mm-hmm. yeah single and happy okay okay let's say <laughs> yeah, but no like, it. for me I think you single now why are you raising your hand oh damn oh damn why man shit sorry bro damn bro <laughs> But um, <laughs> Damn, he, he, he raised his hand like we was about to be shouting for joy. He was like, "Yeah!" Like, I was about to be like, "What happened, man?" Yeah. All right, we're gonna talk about that later. Yeah, we'll talk about that later. Yeah, because you know I don't like that. Go ahead. Um, just to kind of add on what Jay was saying, I think for me. When I'm dating, sometimes I'm distracted, right? right. So it's Girl. like I feel like what my purpose in life, like what God has for me, is like something big and. Right now, me trying to focus on a guy when mm-hmm. I really start liking a guy, I'm still doing me. Yeah. I'm ambitious JC, right? Okay. But I'm not doing me to my A game. Yeah. You get yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like I'll be doing me and I'll be lollygagging. Yeah. So with me now in a single life, I'm using this time to really rebuild myself, rebrand right. myself. Who am I? I just right. lost my mom. So right. my life is completely different. different. Now. Yeah. I had to readjust everything yeah. right like not, life is will never be the same for me right, right. but I can't just curl up in the bed and cry right, every day right, about right, it. Right, so right. I took time like you said with your trainer yeah. you know investing in my body investing in what right. I'm eating what I'm doing trying right. to take life more serious yeah. you know not trying to make excuses for everything right. just trying to be more mindful right. trying to get closer to God like right. My, right now me investing time in God and really spiritually growing yeah. is like it's the really most important showing. that comes yeah. for everything mm. yeah. um, and as far as imagining I'm just trying to really manifest my biggest dream and yeah. goals in life and that's yep. not even just career wise but like producing video right. and all of that that's like my husband my right. children right. my right. house and just talk about yeah. it all that good stuff that I know out. I want you yeah. know so I, I really started being more specific when I'm writing yeah. things down I'm yeah. so much more specific in my prayer life yep. now like yep. praying, for, praying for y'all like yep. I write down names I'm yes intentional yep. that's the perfect word um, and then as far as inspiring, I'm just really trying to keep doing what I've been doing. Right, right. I Living feel like it's easy lifestyle. to get thrown off. Right. Yeah, you so. know, it's something you said, Jewel. Like, I think a lot of females actually do that. And that's something I actually had to grow out of. Like, when we get in relationships, like, you really, like, it becomes shit, about like, him. It, and, it, yeah. like, it's not, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I you think lose that, focus of yourself right, and it's like think, us. Like, right, nah. I, I, need, right. yeah. I think that's something I appreciate about me and Jay. Because, like, through, like, growing, what I've learned is, like, yo, we still have to be individuals. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, we still have to really be happy with our own life like you know what i'm saying like or it's, it's just gonna keep spilling over like exactly. you said like and i think that women do that more than men though like mm. i think women lose themselves in relationships. i see that i have friends yeah. like you know what i'm saying that's you know and i feel so bad because i grew out of that stage and i can't force them to grow out of that stage right. like right now but i'd be like bitch like live and your babe, life like we- i'd be wanting to say that but i'm trying to also give grace to it because i understand that that's also a part of the journey and that's right. a part of their journey exactly to actually understand you know that I have to learn how to love on me before I'm loving on anybody. Right, you know and it's so like, it's so easy 
to because even like right now, like I'm a single woman, yeah. but I also be like, all right, dang, my, like God, where my husband at? Right, like, where we at? You know, like yeah. you know, I'm not like it's bad ghetto person. Down, it's ghetto down here. Send what him I, now. What I, right. what, I, what, I, what I will say is right before we get, get into Alex, I don't want to uh, short him. I feel like as men, right? Like you see how you can pick out the flaws in women and like y'all, y'all don't focus on yourselves and y'all get yeah. in a relationship and I feel like as men we want to be pleasers as well right yeah. we want to we always want to solve a problem so a lot of times we go into a relationship and yeah we go into it like I'm still focused on me I still got to get what I got to get done but once our woman if if she's not the woman that's like able to focus on her if she's not mature in the mind when she when she expresses that like she wanted to be about us I feel like sometimes as men we can get lost in that and we want to please our woman so we go against what we wanted to do in the first place and now all right now we back here so now we both fucked up yeah, right because yeah, now yeah. we both not focus on our like right. men coming to the relationship like yeah, i'm still doing my thing i'm still doing this and then yeah. your woman complain a little bit and it's like all right i want to make her happy so i'm gonna just right, all right, to this right? Right, right and then now we just both off yeah off course yeah. right yeah. Yeah. either alter it or flee because sometimes right, yeah, yeah, like yeah yeah like, not, not, yeah, yeah you're right and yeah. shout out but i feel like low key shout out to those guys that flee right because right. they can they can see a problem they can recognize it and like, see that they don't want it yeah. I feel like a lot of my I peers think, but shout out to them if they flee correctly yeah, right because no, no, I'm about to say I no, think, no, no. You know, some niggas out of nowhere that's a problem no, 100%. right like but some either, niggas ghost you won't even tell you some niggas will say like look you know what I'm saying I understand what you need but and I can't give you that right now you know what I'm right, saying like exactly. so I think we should go separate ways some niggas won't say shit they just no, gone so I say only reason I say shout out to them we gonna get to you Alex I'm sorry only reason I say shout out to them even both sides because Honestly, just I feel like as a, I'm not a woman, so I can't say it, mm-hmm. but I, I feel like a man should flee either way because it's worse when a man tries to deal with something that he know he yeah. doesn't want to deal with. Yeah. Now you make it worse. Now you're cheating. Now okay. you're doing all yeah. this dumb shit. Now you're a fuck nigga, right? right? So if you just get the fuck out of there, you don't yeah. have to, you don't have to, yeah, you ghosted yeah. her. Yeah, you probably did it the wrong way, but at least you're not dealing with the long, pain. Long story short, the reroute is a blessing. Thank Fa- you. Facts. Alex, what you saying? I'm sorry. The weekend's bad. How are you? In- it. Uh, right, hope Alex ain't shit, track. the blonde. Nah, 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 nah. I ain't Say. not shit. So uh, this season of singleness is different because like I kind of like reimagined what singleness was. You know, normally as you get out of a relationship and kudos to you for your post. Like if, if people haven't read, go to mrjhill.com where you Bro, talk shit. about like uh, not fucking it up and thinking like being a player because oftentimes when you get out of a relationship, it's like, oh, I'm going to knock something down. I'm out here. We I'm out forget, here. You know lit, what I'm right? like, all the <laughs> choices that I had seen that like I'm going after. Where they at now? Yeah, but yeah, what you right. come to realize and what you, what you attributed in your, your article was that like what you become is insecure because yeah. you're out here <laughs> wilding out. Uh, but as far as investing, like relationships are expensive. You know what Hell I mean? Yeah. So like there's certain sacrifices that you have Hell to make yeah. while you're in a relationship that you can't, that you can, I mean, that you don't have to make when you're single. You right. know? So you right. can invest in stocks and portfolio. So that's stuff that I could throw away money. Whereas if yeah. I was in a relationship, I'm throwing $300, $400 in a stock. That shit going on a date. That time, like, <laughs> right. I, that's it. Like that's, right. that's right. the right. $300 on a date. You know, I could have put exactly. this in a stock. So right. um, <laughs> those, those are the things that you, you come to learn and really healing, you know, yeah. like in your singleness and understanding mm-hmm. of who you are and understanding like, I'm capable of doing certain things. And that's what I'm learning about yeah. myself and growing and reading books. You know what right. I mean? That's stepping that's into investing. imagining. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Investing yeah. and imagining because when you're reading, you're getting that knowledge. It's, yeah. It opens up my Brandon. mind to know what I can reach and oh, what I can so uh, achieve. Use that platform. Use uh, that. And as far as inspiring, bro, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. just being myself, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, and being unapologetically me and understanding, like, mm-hmm. that me being the best version of myself yeah. is inspiration in and of itself. So striving yeah. for that. And becoming yeah. who God wants me to be, and but I can't do that if I'm out here right. focusing on what society wants me. Right, to be. Right, society thinks right. you go out there, and I'm just knocking joints down. Hell yeah. no, nah, bro! <laughs> like right now is the time to really build yourself up as yeah. a man and focus on what's important and the task at hand. I think these are the conversations that, like, on, that, that 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 these are the conversations that we need, right? Like these are the conversations that we need to introduce and people to have to think about it. Like, what am I imagining? What am I investing in myself, right? What am I um just inspiring as 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 I'm single, right. right? Instead of trying to force myself into a relationship, but um we can that was good. Now let's get into the bullshit. Come on. All right, come on. We all bullshit. Scroll down. Let's get into the. Oh, we oh. still. Oh shit. Damn, I forgot about this. Damn. Oh shit. Oh, it's my turn. Okay. I thought we was about to right. go into the shits. <laughs> all right, let's let's have some fun. Come all right, all right. So boom, you know it's that this or that section or whatever. Um, you know I was unprepared per usual. So, but I always say myself. Thank you though. End. Thank you for. You know what I'm saying? Fuck. Trans- that's account- tra- tra- accountability. Tra- Let's go. I'm Let's learning. go. So, uh, so first, so the first one we got right here. Shout out to Jewel for holding it down. All right. Would you rather a beautiful woman, bomb body? Stop reading it. Let me read it. 
Beautiful woman, bomb body, shit together, credit popping, house popping, car, but insides was trash. Bitchy, mean person. Or would you rather bad built, real ugly, you know what I'm saying, stank breath, hygiene terrible, but is the best person overall? Damn, that's a great question. <laughs> Take your time. Take your time. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. <laughs> Damn. He don't even know. He's Yo, I mean, cause I be wanting, I want my girl to look good. You only have one or the other. Gotta I, choose. I prop. It's a battle of what's on the inside versus what's on the outside. Literally. It's like I'd rather like go with number two. Ugly, bad build, bad breath, hygiene stank. Honestly, to keep it 100, all these bitches is full of shit anyway. <laughs> these girls having surgery here, surgery there. So look, yeah, give me number two. What we're going to do is we're going to get our money up. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get our money up. We're going to get oh, you some. Oh, now y'all like fake bodies. Which is it? Is it natural or is it fake? What do you want? We love it all. Just look good. Yeah, because I got a comment that say you can fix the body. All so right. That's what okay. I just say. You feel me? Like, like, like what I'm saying is, you know what I'm saying? Give me the girl that, that's, 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 that's a good person in the inside. And, you know what I'm right. saying? And what did the city girl say? You're not ugly. You're broke. That's it. Facts. You're not nah. ugly, you're broke. We, a lot of these girls ain't all no, that, bro. Like these all, girls stop, on, on, on videos, it, they got it. so much work some done. Some girls is not it. What's the okay? girl? What's the what's the uh, with or without the Kardashian money. chick? She like oh. a whole different person. Oh, Chloe. She, she like a whole Chloe. like she yeah. got a like that's a whole that ain't even a clone. That's a different person. Yeah. Surgery do you right? You get a good money. You know what I'm saying yeah. niggas got the veneers lit. You know what I'm saying? Then you got the teeth good. Then you got the titties, and then you got to get a face. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Do you, okay, boom. So, would you rather make more money than your woman, or you want? Would you be okay with your woman making more money than you? Um, I mean, of course, I would want to make more money than my woman because I want to like support my family. I want to take care of my family. Right. But at the same time, I think I'm. I think I'm past that. So is it okay? So you make more money than me right now. Way more money. All right, but you got like two hundred thousand. I'm not even at a hundred. Like I'm not even at half of that. So, <laughs> so like, nah. So, you okay with your woman making more money than you? Um, for me, yeah. You know why? Cause I'm I'm a competitive anyway. Mm -hmm. So like, if you make more money than me, I'm chasing you. Like, fuck you, man. You ain't right. about to make more money than me. Like, I'm chasing it. Like, fuck you, man. Like, what you think this is? So I'd rather, I'd rather, yeah, I'd rather my my woman make more. Than What's money. the craziest dream you had? Jay keep waking up yeah, every I mean, morning crazy. with these wild ass dreams, y'all. So, what's the craziest woman you had? Woman, <laughs> you. Um, <laughs> so is it? That's not. What the I, so I just had. So Dan, dream you had. yo, God be talking, right? So like, I had this dream, right? Mm -hmm. Just last night. Damn, this is a it's a vulnerable moment. So bear with me, and you better not try to use this against me. I am. Yeah. So, I had this dream, and I was thinking, like, is it bad when you have a dream and you don't share it with your partner? So what happened was, um. This dream. The fuck is you about to say? Nah, so this dream is weird because it was like a nightmare, right? But it wasn't like your typical nightmare. <laughs> so like, it's what like like so. I'm chilling or whatever, and like I had sex with this girl, and shout they found out. This is just last night. I swear to God, and I was I was I was actually asking myself, should I say something? And like, but what happened was like, so shout they found out, but. I think we because we were talking about it in a um what girl in a, was it? I don't even know. So we we talking about it. We were talking about He's it. Lying. We were talking we were talking about it in a um in a in a uh book club, right? So I was telling how like, you know, like my ex cheated on me or whatever and I left, right? And it was a guy that was married. He was like, sometimes we have to we have, we gotta think outside of us because sometimes we think that our breaking point is somebody cheating on us, right? So long story short, I had this dream. I had sex with a girl. So Sade, Sade's like breaking point is me cheating on her, right? So I had sex with a girl, Sade, Sade found out, but she didn't leave. And she didn't argue with me or nothing. Like she was like, she was like- Yo said this was the craziest shit or nah, a nightmare. Nah, did that, so what like- What type of shit is he so like, on So right like now? she didn't say nothing. No, no, this, this, is, is, I, I this is clearly a dream because baby- so, so right, so like, so you see how, like, so she didn't, she was like, she was like, she was like cool with it almost. And she didn't say nothing. Facts, like it fucked me up. <laughs> and it was like, yo, I can never do this. Cause like, <laughs> like my conscience felt so real in the dream. Like I felt like, oh, I fucked up. And I woke up and I'm like, shit. 
You ain't even Damn. tell me. That's wild. But I yeah, but I mean, my crazy dream. I think I don't really have. Tell me who she is. I don't really have crazy dreams though. Okay, if you could trade lives with someone, anyone in the world, who would it be? Go ahead. I said it for you, Kanye West. <laughs> First of all, that's gay. I'm a grown ass man. I'm not, I'm not trading, changing lives with nobody. You should know me already. I fuck with Kanye though. Niggas not fuck with Kanye, but I ain't trading no life with that nigga. <sighs> You tight? Yes. What's one thing no one knows about you? That no one knows about me? No one. Hmm. Um. I think it's that I can be insecure sometimes, I guess. That's not true. You be telling people like, nah, I be insecure. That's one of your transparent moments. I need another one. That nobody knows about me. I, I try to be open. Um, I don't know. Um. Sheesh. I don't know, babe. That nobody knows about me. Yeah, I don't know. You got me, babe. That no one knows? Yeah. So you just open book always. I'm not everybody really. Know, everybody know everything. I tell you everything. What's? All right, tell them something that I may know, but they, they don't know. You what to say it. I don't know. I don't know. Right. <sighs> Y'all want to know one of mine? Yeah. When I was 18... <laughs> Don't say nothing that I'm mad about because I'm gonna be pissed. He is gonna be mad. Wait, what? And nobody knows this is about me. You know, it's our podcast. I feel like the people should know. So you're gonna tell the podcast before you tell me? No, I told you before. One thing that no one knows about me for real is when I was 18, I used to work at this white little titty bar. I did. I used to have to walk around with my towel and serve drinks. Wait, what's your titties out? Yeah. You ain't never told me I did shit. tell you that. All right, well, one thing that mm. no one ever knew about me. <laughs> That goes into the conversation of tricking niggas to be with you. Because if I would have known this shit, I probably wouldn't have. That's not true, because I told you. Remember when we was at Dave and Buster's and we were sitting right there at the thing and I told you. Yes, I did. So you used to be remember. a stripper? I, w- I wasn't a stripper because I wasn't allowed because I was too young. <laughs> but they let me show my boobs. Too young to strip, but old enough to take your shirt off. Yeah. Okay. And you just got your, and they can't tell you got shirt. So you got, it, was, it was a white. It was, and you know what's really crazy? It was a really white, white yeah. bar. So you like, choose now to say that. I told you before. And I used to have to walk around and serve drinks like, here you go. With your titties out. Beer for you. And I was young. So, so you niggas know. took pictures of you? It's, no, it's a you nigga somewhere take... that got pictures no, of my girl don't. with her titties out. No, you taking it too far. See, I told you to say yours. All right, Congrats. so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was have like 18, story. y'all. Oh, I think I saw. Oh, so when I, was like, when I was like nine I think I uh, I don't know if I had sex with this girl, but nah. I remember she used to she used to she used to watch me, and it shows you how bad girls are. She used to Not watch bad, me. How bad girls are? She used to watch me, and I never forget. Like when she showed me her pussy, the first thing I said was, "Why is it so much hair on it?" Because I didn't know, right? I didn't like I was I didn't know. I think she was like thirteen or something, like something like twelve or thirteen. And like I don't, we was experimenting. I think we was playing like a game house or something like that. House. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't remember. Mm-hmm. I I just it was something mm-hmm. like that. So I think she raped me. Yeah, yeah. I can't even laugh at that because that's yeah, not even I'm funny. Like I'm like for real, that's right? Not- yeah, that's oh, how. Boom, boom. He told me that before, though. I did. Yeah, you did. You I don't see, remember. So exactly how you didn't remember? I told you because you didn't even remember. You told me. But you walking around 18 with your titties out? I was a lot of 18 year olds are walking around with their titties out. And I don't want to. No more. 18 in Cancun, 18 at Mardi Gras. It's titties out. Mardi Gras is titties out. So that's it's what you used out. to do. Used to be at Cancun. I only did that for like three weeks, y'all. I was just like, three I can't weeks? Do this. That's a long time. No, no, I did it for three weeks for That's like, like two, 21 it, days. No, it was two days out of like a week. I can't work every day. I was on the, you know, it was a schedule. <laughs> yeah, he's like, you tell you, though. Man. Yeah. What a wild time in my life. That's the thing. Uh-huh. So you used, to, you used to like. What? No, I don't even you know. No, I don't want to know nothing. All right, let's, let's go. Gingling? <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face, yeah. though. He's so irked. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you say that on a podcast? Cause you didn't want to answer, so I just thought I let them know. So now niggas is gonna be like, yeah, bro. No, it just shows growth. Bitch, have a titties out in a bar, shows, nigga. Gro- it shows growth. Okay, no fucking growth. It's, it's over eleven years ago of my life. You would have never imagined. That's what I said. I don't think nobody knows that. I don't even want to know what else you probably was doing. Y'all love these stripper bitches, but the minute that y'all girl be like, yeah, I show my little shit, all the time it's like, no, I'm a little stripper Because we trying to I fuck these better. stripper bitches. We not trying to marry these stripper bitches. At 18, bitches. you was probably going to try to fuck me too. And I probably wouldn't be with you. That's not true. It's very true. No, it's not. I'm a man of my word. 
It's not. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's not like I have my vagina out here. All right, come on. Let's get into it. Um, Lord, yo, Lord, baby drops the bigger picture, right? So shout out to yo, right? Lord baby for president. What I want to say is, so we was on this meeting and like one of my friends was saying how they had a meeting with Lord baby and he said like he was like little baby um he was like. A part of his job, one of my friends, a part of his job is like consulting with artists, right? So Lil Baby came to him and said that he wanted to say something about the Black Lives Matter movement. Mm -hmm. And one of my friends, I don't want to put his name on that, he was like, yo, we said nobody wants to hear that from a rapper, right? You should just put some money into something. Mm -hmm. because, and, and I thought that it was a good idea. Like, I'm like, that's smart. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of rappers is saying some bullshit fucking themselves up. Mm -hmm. Then Lil Baby dropped this song and I'm like... I wanted to hit him like so about that advice you gave right. little baby like because he ain't like that right you're looking bad now because this shit. I know because like it's crazy because you know I think that some rappers could get really offended by that because like a lot of them are from like the south they probably don't talk as well or you know probably dropped out of school a little earlier you know not to say that they probably did it's just a statistic like Quavo just got his high school diploma you know what I'm saying like it just is what it is but you know that can make some like they it doesn't mean that they don't know what's going on in the world or they don't feel for their people to, and want to speak out so if you tell them to like not say anything just kind of put your money where your mouth is instead of using your your voice like that could offend somebody it could but what I will say is I, I did think it was uh, good advice because a lot of artists they try to speak on positive things yes. and they just fuck themselves up they, yeah. like they try to say like nah you shouldn't loot it then now cancel this person right. because you want some yeah, bullshit you clearly don't get it that's where good teams come in like if you have a good enough team you could get your point across but like being coached like you gotta leave certain things out like don't say this cause that could offend don't like you know what I'm saying like people have good coaching I think some the people who just jump out and say they're without consulting their teams those are the ones who typically get cancelled and have a problem with moving forward because Y'all just saying anything. Y'all don't even know how to articulate properly. But, like, if you say, like, hey, I want to do this. Can my team work with me to help me, like, get this message across? Like, they could say what they want to say. But no, shout no. out to Lil Baby. Shout out to Lil Baby. That song, yo, Lil Baby is, like, one of the hottest rappers. And he's alive, hard. Yo. And he's hard. Like, he's like, wilding. Like, like, he's hard. Too. It was an argument of, like, who was better, Lil Baby or the baby. I don't even think it's an argument anymore. No like, it's just not even a question. Yeah, I'm kind of over the baby. I'm like, <laughs> really yeah. But I'm over the baby. Like all his music sounds the, the fucking same. same. But you know what's ironic? He dropped a ironically, he dropped like a remix Black Lives Black Lives yeah. Matter remix the same day. Nobody talked about it. Yeah. Oh, wow. well, sorry the baby. I mean shout out to him for a trying. That's yeah, shout that. out to him. That's you probably know, that beast smokers. <laughs> I don't wanna so 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 this Terrence J and Mar Marlon Wayans thing, is this really a conversation? Like, I, see me, I'd be so like, he, what are we talking about? The reason why I think it's a conversation is because of people rushing to judgment. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it just speaks to the group right, thing that right, happens on social right, media right. before we get context. Right. And that's the biggest thing that we saw because like, people saw a one minute clip and that's what we often see. Like, you don't watch the whole live, yeah. you just see a yeah. one minute clip and you rush to judgment, you, you, you Base your perception off of that. Instead. Right. So basically what happened is Marlon and Terrence J, they have like a show together and it's like a, what people are really saying, right? So they kind of go back and forth. So they were going the back and truth, forth. I think the Ugly called. Truth or something like that. Um, they were going back and forth and people just kind of was dragging the situation not knowing that this is actually the show. Like, you know what I mean? Um, and just jumping so far to the point that Terrence had to be like, yo, like Marlon actually wrote this, y'all. Like, relax. This isn't, that's my best so friend. So let's talk like, about exactly what they were saying. So basically, yeah. um, Terrence J, <laughs> Terrence, yeah. I thought it was funny because I'm a Q, so I thought it's funny. So basically Terrence J was saying um, Marlon Wayans ain't really have to work for anything because he has a, a family that's all wealthy and they all like Which share Which I the feel wealthy. like that's something well, that people have said. So like, you know what I mean? It was cool to get him to speak on it because people say that. Like, you know what I mean? That's something people say. So Terrence J was like um, basically saying that his family ain't strong as our family, which is Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated Alpha Fraternity and I thought it was funny because he was just like it was, to me it was funny but I can understand how somebody could take that offensive like yo my family worked hard to get this like you're not about to clown my family like you gotta come right. respectful Jewel got a question well it's really a comment it's just saying like it's the misuse of Terrence's platform to bring negativity to blackness and history ooh no it's not speak more ooh. on the joke I feel feel like it's a joke like get your fucking panties out of a bunch I just feel like we're joking. First of all, like, yo, we can joke about, I don't, I, I don't know, like anybody. Like, I joke about um, other fraternities. I joke about IOTAs. I joke about AKAs. I joke about whatever. I joke about if you got a, like, if we're friends, the thing about it, what I think is some conversations 
should be only had, have yeah only yeah. be had private right yeah, but yeah. when you're close with, with each other like you can do that like we can get on this podcast and talk shit yeah. all we want and next next thing you know somebody is taking a one minute clip and now that's why I don't respond yeah. to comments like that it's like yeah. if you got me fucked up you could continue to have me fucked up and that's okay with me right, because you right. clearly don't get it. Right. You want to watch the whole podcast? If not, I want. I don't even want to waste my time on you because right. you're not even supporting yeah. me for real, for right. real. You're just saying what you think. Yeah. So I think, like, a lot of people didn't even know, one, they had a show. Yeah. Because right. I didn't know until I, I said I had no yeah, idea until so, so I looked into So before it. we even get to... I didn't even know these niggas had a show. Before we even get to Marlon writing it, right, I didn't even care because I know they... they are friends like right, I know right. that they fuck with each other right? right so it's like but to me even say it wasn't a show and even if they were just playing going back and forth cool. is it like you know what I'm saying as friends like you know what I'm saying as friends talk shit to if, each other like everybody jokes differently with each other like yeah. some friends really like be going like you know what I mean like my friend like if I'm running late she'd be like bitch you raggedy bitch why you always so, late like you know what I'm saying but it don't mean plan, she, she mean really like you know what I'm saying she really just yeah. right. she plan, just joking plan, yeah. plan devil's advocate right let's say if it was a real let's speak in terms if it was a real situation yeah. right I think even still, Terrence has a point. Mm. You know what I'm saying? As an outsider, it's like, yo, like I yeah. had to get this shit on my own. Mm. Yeah. You had a family, but I feel like that's the backwards thinking right. of African Americans. Right, not saying right, it's Terrence. Right, right, not saying it's Terrence. We talking real. about if if this was a real right, conversation. Right, right. Then I will understand. All right, you're using your platform in the wrong way because right. now you just don't understand. Yeah. Like yeah. as we should be working. Yeah. For generational wealth, yeah. right? We should right. be working. Yeah. Exactly. For this. We should all be able to bring it in through the family. Right. Exactly. Like, so shit. I can see that side, but on the other. I'm sorry. No, I, mean, what, what, what? I feel like like African Americans like not to say like that like to put us in a group, but I feel like we pride on like getting out the mud the with struggle. no help. Yeah, like, no. like oh, we ain't need no help or nobody help me. But like, like like if you me, don't get out, like, like 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 if you don't help get out the me, mud, reach to me. Help. like ain't authentic or something. Right, like like yeah. like. But right. but what we forget is if you don't get it out the mud, like you're going to do the same thing because yeah. you're not going to want your kids to be in right, the mud. Like right, what do you mean? Right, like, right. But what I would say is like on the other side, I understand turns too because. If we're like comparing, it's supposed to be like this fraternity it's supposed to be like a family. Mm -hmm. But Jay been reaching out to you and you ain't helping, period. Just saying. I wasn't gonna say all that, but I mean, I'm just saying. I actually Sorry, did. They got I, you. No, yeah, so no, your real family so ain't stronger because I mean, well, I wouldn't say our family ain't stronger because there's some people no, that I'm talking I mean, about like uh Terrence J. Oh, yeah, Terrence I actually Terrence. seen Terrence J at Howard and I, I so I was doing like walking around. I don't ever really do this. I was walking around doing interviews. And I actually tried to get an interview with Terrence, Terrence J. I said Terrence Howard. I was walking yeah. around Howard, and I said, "Well, I was walking around." So I tried to get an interview with Terrence, and he was like, "Nah, I'm busy." Yeah. I could have smacked the shit out of him, but whatever. Right. It's cool. Uh, shout out to the bros, man. But yeah, like I'm like, yo, I'm getting, I'm getting random ass interviews from Mac Wiles and like all these other dudes, and like right. you, my frat brother, and you like, yo, I'm about to. Right. And then I drop on the live, even though it was scripted right, right, or whatever. Right. We got each other but, letting Right And yeah. I feel like that Even goes into the next one Which is like B. Simone getting dragged For saying that You you should date you're Like basically She's an entrepreneur So entrepreneurs should date Entrepreneurs And not date People who are Nine to fives Right So it's crazy Because when I heard Like when I first Seen people dragging her I was like Let me go back And like hear What she was saying I don't disagree with her even though i don't technically agree with her you get what i'm saying but i feel like so many people took it out of contents like some people so many people was like you doubt you shitting on nine to five or i don't think she said like nine to fivers ain't shit like da -da -da -da. i just don't want to date a nine yeah, to they, she, she did that's her preference and i think a lot of people like just are so quick to down somebody else's preference like you know what i mean like it's like if that works for her kudos to fucking you like that ain't my business like you know what i'm saying but it don't make her less than wrong i think she just gave her preference she said as her being an entrepreneur her busy lifestyle she needs somebody to understand that and maybe she wasn't fortunate to, fortunate enough to have a person in a different situation to her to be able to understand her you know what i'm saying now maybe if she did date somebody who did show her like i understand whether whether you here i'm here i understand her perception might be different but she didn't have that so her only she only knows what she's experienced she's only know where she's been and where she's been is it doesn't work for me and that doesn't make her wrong for that even though she's plagiarizing and i don't agree with that but on this i will say like everybody are, is so sensitive like Soon as somebody said, now all the nine to fivers jump out like what, 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 what? In reality, there's some nine to fivers that make more than your favorite celebrities. Like just to be honest, so it's like you got to be careful. Yes, but sometimes people are allowed, even as a celebrity, to express themselves. You know, and you, it just kind of comes with the territory. Can I express myself real quick? Go on. 
Is it bad that I just don't give a fuck about none of this? Like, I just don't be giving it. Like, I don't care about no. But we Nicki still Minaj and we go. I just don't give a fuck. It's like, I'm looking at it and like, I don't give a fuck about. I don't give a fuck about. But whatever. Yeah, Nicki Minaj. I don't give a fuck about nothing. I don't, but. um. So, but yeah, like I said, like, you know, I know she getting dragged for that. Well, now she getting dragged for something else. And yeah. I, you know, she was getting dragged, she's getting dragged out dragged. here. She's so. getting dragged. We're talking about coming through the mud. She's getting dragged through the mud. You know what I think it is, though? <laughs> you know what I think it is? I think it's lack of her. I think it's her team's fault. Because I think that they should have they should have already did this research, making sure like this wasn't like a thing. You, like somebody should have been like, "Yo, like these but, are like but these wait, are." Wait, wait, let's the, pause though. Know, right. And this is on it. But what I, what I, I don't think it's our team fault. I just think it's like we we choose who we we pick and choose who we love. Right. For example, mm. um, six nine, and even before we get to six nine, let's go to Cardi B for a second. Mm -hmm. We love that Cardi B is so genuine and authentic, right? It's been a lot of things that Cardi B has done that probably wasn't, I don't think that her team would agree with. But I feel like because it subscribes to us, we love it, right? I feel like even 6 9 like 6 9 well, he don't subscribe to, well, I mean. Okay, so let's correct that. We can't really. I was never the biggest Cardi B fan. You knew that. Since yeah, like and you're a loner. I never did. Like, no, everybody no, fuck with Cardi I'm not B. a loner. The thing is, we I love respect Cardi her B. hustle, but there's things that I don't respect. We love Cardi but B. But no, we do love Cardi so B. So stop hating. Ultimately, you're I'm hating. not hating. You're a hater. How am I hating? Because we love Cardi B. How am I hating? We love Cardi B. How am I in? You it see, says we it, love man. Cardi B, but Cardi B came up through stripping and fucking DJs. But let me show a titty in a bar. Now he, now is Cardi B that, ain't my girlfriend. I'm just saying, but you saying we love her. You love is a strong word. Fuck okay? her, whatever. <laughs> exactly. Whatever. Shoot her then. I if you don't her. like her, whatever. All right, whatever. Bitches be shooter then. You don't like her shooter. What is this Megan Thee Stallion shit? What y'all talking about? Um, so we just skipping. Are you just skipping shit? Like we went to Terrence, do that? Jay. No, all right, Megan is is right next. Oh, okay, so essentially, yeah, was uh, what Meg was talking about was the importance of higher education and why, like, and I kind of put it to cu couple against B Simone's uh, what she was saying because she was talking about why we need people going to higher education because we need lawyers, we need, we need doctors, doctors, judges, we need okay, people, facts. Yeah. Now we do. Are, like people of color, yeah. and those are right. nine to fives. You right. know what I mean? Right. Because they're making the policies right, and the laws right, that we right. have. So that's a and great I fuck word. with Meg for that. And I really fuck that with her for that. People often don't realize yeah. that there are racist law students yeah, that yeah. end up becoming racist Yo, lawyers. Yo, that's I'm right. Just Bro. And racist. Bro. Alex, I'm glad you put that because a lot. What I was used to speak to about to the youth is like, yo. Everybody grew up wanting to be a football player. Everybody grew up wanting to be on the right. radio. But if we have, if you don't want to be a lawyer, then none of these, we're still going to be locked up. We're still going to be treated unfairly. If you don't want to grow up and be a police officer, we're still going to have so yep. much police brutality. If you don't yep. grow up and want to be a lawyer, it's, it's so many doctors. Yep. It's like, then we give, kind of, we right. kind of give the country a right. leeway of continued right. racism, continued um, social injustices also, and things like that. We need those people. But really. I, what I also think it is, like, just like, you know, Monique was just saying how Houston will fund the police department 5.1 million, billion, right? They're not giving these same things to the establishments who's paying the lawyers and the doctors and the teachers and the police officers, which makes it less appealing. So what's happening is people want to be these quick, these quick, I need a, it's like a quick now. come up. Like, yeah. Yeah, I, need, I need to be the top radio personality. I need to be a YouTuber. I need to be all these things that's going to give me this money now because they're not paying the people who's actually doing the behind but wait, wait. work that we need. Hold up, hold up, hold up. It ain't quick though. Let's not. What? Don't don't, right, don't, don't fuck with don't it, don't play okay, with my, my career because it ain't no, quick. No no no. We're working no, hard for this shit. It's not quick. But what I'm saying is, you know how long it takes for a top lawyer to actually make money? Money. You know how long it takes for not your. Your overnight success, but a YouTuber and a personality but, but, to get lit but, lit. But that's fine. But you see how more the lane has opened up for it to be even faster. Like right now, like YouTubers, like YouTubers, like they're not. They're I mean, I can go, up like popcorn I mean, I can go to, at this I can point. go to school for. I can cut my ten years in half if I go to school all year round. I mean. People gotta live life. Too, yeah, right? whatever. Yeah, yeah. no, Don't talk shit that, about my career. Happening. You know Nobody's what I mean? talking. What are you talking about? You sound like one of these people that's talking about Terrence J and them. Like, what are you talking about? So going, yeah, I'm not about that. Who said I was talking about your career? I'm oh God. Right, you just you just like one of those people up there, just right. quick to speak, slow to don't think. Put, don't don't nah. don't. What girls always say, don't generalize me. They love to say that shit. Whatever. Uh, let's go to uh, Nicki Minaj and Six Nine, accepting the villain role. So Jay made a point the other day. He was like, you know, her nigga's supposed to be like this whole hood nigga, like from the streets, whatever. But she's making songs and. Becoming even richer with a rat. Yeah, I, like she's doing work. whatever it takes to make herself relevant again. Is she pregnant point. or not? She's I don't looking know. very pregnant. 
Whatever. I don't give a fuck. But, but um, I love Nikki. So this is what I told Jay what I think it is. No. I've always loved Nikki. But this is what I think, like what I told Jay, right? So Nikki obviously has worked with 6 9 again. They got this, you know, single that just went out that still went number one in 46 countries. They still get money, right? But what I think it is, I think that, you know, I've seen a lot of people like, why is she working with him? Nikki was working with 6 9 before this. And I think, like, if you think about it, it's like, yo, I fuck with my friend and my friend do some shit. Do you, are you just not friends with them no more? Cause she really fucked with, she, she's been saying this before this was six, nine. She was like, you know, y'all love six, nine, but I know Danny, he's a really good person. Right. So like, say I'm friends with somebody I've been doing business when we done good business before all of this happened, something happened. Do you just cancel them out because everybody else cancel them? Because at the end of the day, a lot of people try to cancel Nikki. She don't want to be that guy. Like, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to turn my back on you. Like how people turn my back on me. Can you really say she's really a hundred percent wrong for that? Because at the end of the day, she was friends with six, nine before this happened. So like, say like, my bestie you know like someone i'm really close with do some foul shit like is it like i might tell them like i don't fuck with that but am i really just gonna cut them off completely mm, that's a great like, point it's just real like am i really gonna cut them off completely she before this she was vouching for something like she like i fucking love danny they was doing songs way before this that hit number one way before all of everything that's six nine do she just like now we're not I, doing that so no honestly i just don't give a fuck about who's friends with who like be friends with who you want to on the six nine part, what I will say is like I feel like he's doing he's wilding. Yeah, he's just like doing so. I like when you came home, you know what I'm saying like it was all fun and jokes, but like now you he's still, still trolling. trolling. And it's like yo, you're yeah. dragging it. Like not I don't want to wish nothing bad on nobody, but like now so, you're asking to. Yeah. What like, about okay? So you know how you know how like for example, like we talk about the Instagram model, like the how they become Instagram models. They get that one thing and they, like, they, and they keep, keep doing yeah, it like it's right. a business. Like now it's not. That it's like that they even want to do it no more. I'm sure like girls had that one bikini pic that went wild. They probably don't even take bikini pictures all like all that, but they went on a vacation, took this bikini picture, and now all the shit went wild. Now they gotta keep taking bikini pictures. I don't even like bikinis like that, but now I gotta keep doing it. Do you think that once you learn that metrics, you can't stop it because that's what brings you your that's money? That's what got in? you hot. Yeah. That's what got you hot. Like you know what I'm saying? Like and <laughs> like like. Don't get me wrong. I think I, I like I'm over it. Like it's just like all right, like whatever. But if that's what keeps giving him number one streams and that's what's bringing the money to him, would you? I stop? mean, what I would say is I, I I mean I don't agree with it, but I'm not. I don't agree with it. I'm not like, a billionaire either, so I mean I don't know. Like I can't exactly, say what the. I can't, exactly. I'm not. That's just kind of how I put it. Do what like, you want. I don't like do what you want because like it's like money versus morals. Type right, of thing, right, right, right. But morals right. don't that's never true. get you to the that's bag, true. honestly. If you want to keep it hundred, everybody, a real nigga don't. Pay the so bills. it's like what's more important you know to you as a person at the end of right and like or like whatever contracts he got in place with whoever he works with because what if that's like look motherfucker this is what's getting us money you got to keep doing this Facts. i disagree with what you said just now i Ooh. think i don't think does get to the money i just don't think they publicize it. so we not don't facts. hear about that being, i feel like they being market. a real nigga in my experience what we what well what we're taught to be a real nigga i feel like that fucks up the bag more than getting to the bag honestly because a lot of times you try to be a real nigga and it fucks up your money like mm -hmm. like nobody going to bitch me nobody going to talk to me how, how oh, okay. however oh, they okay. think they want to talk to me right that's what i'm saying by like i don't think being a real nigga gets you the bag but i get it what what is this alex you got to go into this all right, man. So I don't know if y'all saw this, but uh, it was like oh, a I photo see, op yeah. with some members of Congress. You saw Nancy Pelosi. You saw yeah a few others kneeling in Kente Claw. Long story short, and the reason why I put this, because I just want to say this piece. Go pass some fucking legislation. I don't need y'all to take no right. photo ops. I don't need y'all right. to do nothing. Right. We've seen a man get killed again in Atlanta. Go right. pass some legislation. Right. I don't need y'all to take no pictures. This nigga Trump, president, whatever. Is bombing people, throwing tear gas so he can take photo ops. I'm right. tired of the pictures. Go pass some legislation. Right. Yo, how do y'all how do y'all feel about the um we good for real? Well, how do y'all feel about the uh the dude that got killed in Atlanta? So I'm scared to talk on this this I'm scared to talk on this because I'm kinda like in the middle. I'm in the middle too. So what I say is like um what I will say is you shouldn't shoot somebody that's running away Period. from you. Like, that's stupid. That's like he is not, it's not it's no threat to you. And I feel like and, and, and now my cousin, right, he got he got arrested for attempted murder because he was jumped in a seven eleven and I guess they started to run and he tried he, he went after the guy and he stabbed him in the head. But it wasn't um it wasn't self defense because he had to retaliate. He had, he had to, it wasn't he had, like he in the moment. Him. Right. right. He so, was trying to get away and, and he got once you run after him, you call him right. back into your presence. And so when I seen it, that's what I saw. So in my man, in my opinion, I feel like if somebody is reaching for your gun or reaching for a taser, 
if I don't, I mean, I don't want nobody to get killed. You know what I'm saying? But if you would have shot him in that moment, to me, it would have been more understandable than you shooting a man that's running away from you. Right. Like, and, and uh, like, I'm not, I know a lot of people talking about what well, white men are doing this. I ain't talking about no, no other race. I'm just talking about logics to me. Like right. if somebody is reaching for something to harm you. Right. All right. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. You know what I'm saying? But yo, he's running away. And first of all, the man said he was going to walk home. Right. Yo, y'all had so much yo. time to just alleviate that situation. Yeah. Like, you could have just let this man walk right. home. Like, you could have. Right. It's he been times I where. I leave my car right here. Yo, like, it's been times where people get pulled over and they let you stay in the car until somebody else come get right, you. Like, right, right. It's been. It, it was so much time. And I think cops are just so, like, cops are just pussy, bro. Like, right. niggas. Yeah. It's, like, but it's, it, it is what it is. Like, they don't really have. Like, like we was talking about before, like, lawyers got to go years in the fold like to even be able to you know do this like you know what i'm saying they literally are going 19 months and like okay i could do whatever i want no psychiatric no like no evaluation of the mental like nothing like and i really think it's like boom like even like fbi dea swat teams they have like a way more extensive you can't just go be in that right i think cops they just want a lot of cops in the community and i think like local cops they will pop them in every chance they get like they would just take them on it's so easy to anybody in here right now if you want to go be a cop you can go right now literally and i you think can literally go niggas right get bullied in high school and didn't want to be a cop yeah. you're a fucking yeah. pussy like just like, they need to like, stop hiring I, cops for, like they need to hire cops that come from the same cop. community right. community like yo don't put no cop in a community that, that didn't that, that didn't live there that can't relate like I'm tired of this cause like cops is pussy like right. strip the how like I Boosie feel, said like without that badge you're a bitch in the half I'm just saying like yo like niggas is pussy like how I feel about the video though so I watched the video today and I felt so bad because he seemed like such a nice he was guy. Cool. He like he didn't want no problems. He was like, look, I just was drinking. It was my daughter's birthday. Like we was out here drinking. I tried to sleep it off in the car. Like I could leave the car here. I'll walk home. Right. Um, the cop, the cop, like they weren't being assholes to him until they like put him in handcuffs. Like so at first it was like, let me just do a breathalyzer. But I felt like even when they did the breathalyzer, they're gonna be like, Okay, you live right there. All right, well, you gotta leave the car here, we'll watch you walk home. Or shit, a nice cop will even I'll take, take you, you home. home. Like nigga, right. like you know what I'm saying? Especially but, with all but, the shit that's going on. Like, but, come on, right, son. Exactly. So, but the thing is where I seen in the video, the minute they try to put the handcuffs on him, he tried to run and yeah. tasseled around. I don't think that's smart because you really can you really can get arrested for loitering. Like that's like that's that's been a thing. Like you can be you you just can. So once a cop is putting you in handcuffs, like I would rather you just go get the commissioner. Like you know what I'm saying. I'm out this in a couple hours, but like and I'll go home and I can fight that in court. But to like soon as they're putting a the handcuff to like do all of that. That was a little And too don't get it fucked much. up. We're not saying that like it's no, still no reason they should have shot this man. But they shouldn't have shot him. No, what I will no say is the pro they need to have to be some other protocol cuz what I don't understand is why when they shot him they had to shoot him to kill him. Even I don't even think this is cool but even if y'all shot somebody in the leg just to put him down like you know what I'm saying? Well, but any you know what I'm saying? You didn't have to kill him. Like I don't understand that like even if you had to like you know it's just so it's like what is your protocol like soon as somebody move you got to kill him? Like that's not a standard that shouldn't be a standard in any way um i don't think he should have ran when he was being in cuffs um but i do think the times of the what's going on now played a part in that and i do yeah. think you know what i'm saying it, it's it's you know he was also drinking like and but, but that that's makes more no, the reason why i think they shouldn't have killed him because he was already if you know he did a breathalyzer he failed it that means he's already not in the right state of mind so that means you killed him and he wasn't in the right state of mind that's not fair and even like, like and even like that you said the, t the time that we are now i just feel like that if I'm a cop, given the times that we're in now, I'm, I'm definitely not shot actually, shooting nobody. Cause like yeah. that makes no sense. Like if I'm a white person, they terminated him, and the chief stepped down because they knew that shit looked real bad. Nah. The chief, the police commissioner stepped down because they was just like, "What can you do? You can't, you can't defend that." Like Man, you know what I'm saying? If I like fire just, him, he should still yeah. get locked up. No hell yeah. But what I'm saying is. The, even the chief stepping down says a lot like fuck that nigga no, too I'm not, and, and why I know, saying I'm, I'm saying fuck him too I'm, oh yeah fuck him too but what I'm saying is that's how you know it was dead ass wrong like you have to step down because you cannot explain that like you cannot explain that no, yeah so RP to another another what was his name black brother do we know um, who let me has see. lost his life to police let's, let's, brutality let's, uh, yeah it's exhausting it's really as exhausting this is like you know Man, like these niggas is just, just like crazy. 
Yes. These niggas is yes. wildin'. Sean, Sean like Brooks. Sean Brooks? Yeah. Rashard Brooks. Rashad Rashad Brooks. Brooks. And it's so Recipe sad he Sean died. Brooks. You know, he just took his daughter out for her birthday. Like, could you imagine explaining that your daddy just got shot by the police in these times on your birthday? Like, thanks. Yo, it's the Gemini moment. Scorpio Podcast, episode 29, Hilla Bay, Mr. J. Hill, ah, Monique, Pink Celebrity, Ambitious J.C. Jordy Snow. Fucking uh, Jewel, my, my guy, Alex the Blanc. Alexander uh, the Blanc. Yeah, why well, I mean, shout out to the guy behind the camera. Br- Br- say his name. By Cyrano. By Cyrano. Say his At name. At the Melrose. <laughs> GG. GG is My guy, Cash22. Brandon, Cash Brandon is in the building. Malachi was on the, the sound. Ain't on the drink. I'm out. Brady Our trainer was in here. Everybody was in here, man. Hey, shout out to y'all. The Gemini Scorpio it's podcast. Exhausting. Yeah, episode 29 it was a long one. Pause. I'm um, <laughs> I said it was a long one. It was. I didn't say no gay. I'm saying it was a long episode. Pause. I'm still going to. Whatever We appreciate y'all Make sure y'all subscribe Make sure y'all hit the notification button Make sure y'all fuck with us Cause we fuck with y'all Um And we out It's a wrap